Alright, so next day I'm getting the spindles chopped. So I'm gonna chop this one right here, chop this one right here. And I got the, got the, uh, everything for the front spindles to drop them. So that's gonna be welded on like that. And then, I already have one cut. I don't know where it went, but those will go on the spindle and go over here. And then, uh, those little squares will go on top of the spindles and go through, through up here. So, like, locks it and you weld it. So, uh, that's about it. Last night I got all this done. I got the front dropped, kind of. Uh, just cut the frame and drew a hole up from the original hole and cut those down so i could uh fit fit the uh these plates up in more and uh, uh i got the deck lever out got the steering good i re re-timed the steering uh that's about it i think i'm gonna get the front end done dropped and everything tires put back on then i'm gonna go take a break and then get the rear axle out. So, I gotta get these cut. Oh, uh, there's the other one. So you gotta get that cut, those cut, that cut, and that cut. So, see you then. The hole's drilled. So, the uh, spindle will go through it. Now you just gotta cut this and cut this off. And then cut that plate off. And it should be pretty good. I left a little meat on this so you could stick so I could stick it out and get a nice bead on it. So letting the uh, grinder battery charge and then once that's charged I'll cut this and uh, weld it all up. Okay, I got the spindle cut and this is the it would have gone like this. But I cut that off. I'm going to cut that off. And then weld a piece of plate from here to here. And weld one of these on top like that. Like that. So it's, <clears throat> it's the end product's going to look like that with the spindle right where my thumb is. Right in the middle of this. So should work out pretty good and uh so i got that cut and i gotta get the other spindle cut then welding time okay we're gonna be welding this uh the spindle on the, uh on the drop so
There we go. That's all. That's all it takes. Pretty good. Pretty straight, actually, too, since I used the welding magnet. Turn the welder off. I'll get the other spindle cut and welded. And then I'll show you how to hack these things to there. Like that. Well, I gotta weld it on the spindle. I gotta weld the bottom on the spindle first. Then weld this while it's on the mower. So, no big deal. So, pretty good welds. Hey guys, it's a couple days later, so I got the spindles all welded up. I think that's the last clip you have seen. So, got the spindles welded up. Pretty decent. This one was kind of out of whack. That's why it's not lined up perfect. I had to bend it kind of to make the wheel straight. Got this one all good. And steering and time and everything. Rubs the frame a little bit, but I don't really care. It can. Then this side will rub the frame too. So I know the steering is in time. I got it pretty, got it pretty good. Timing those things are kind of a pain. So I got the uh, hitch plate off. I'm gonna take the rear end out now, and this rear end's still good. As that motor and all the wiring harness and everything, all the clutch stuff. So, I'm just going to keep this stuff around. So, if I buy a motor with a blown up motor and a blown up rear end, I have a perfect uh, swap. So, there's a tag for the rear end. This rear end rips and everything. This motor was running and driving when I brought it in here and took it apart. So, uh, I'm going to put you guys on a time lapse and get this rear end out. All right, I got the rear end out, and by the looks of it, the chain should come right through there, right by, I gotta cut that piece of metal, but right through there, right by the steering. So it should, in theory, work good. I got the rear end over here. Uh, it's just a normal six-speed, I don't know, I think it's like a Tecumseh or something transmission. I think still rips, so... Uh, I think that's about it. Now I'm just waiting on parts. So, hope you guys liked the video of dropping the front end. And hope you guys liked it. And see you guys when I get the parts.